At the end of Ahsoka Episode 8, the finale, why did Anakin have the brown robes that we see him in in Revenge of the Sith, not his white robes that we saw him appear to Luke as a Force ghost at the end of Return of the Jedi? The answer to this really is unknown, and this is more of a theory, and this is something I even saw in the chat during the watch party. First of all, I will say, it could just be an error. Could be a, a consistency error, but of course with Dave Filoni, you think that that wouldn't happen, so maybe there's a reason. Well, I think at the end of Return of the Jedi, Anakin had his white robes, of course, because that's what, you know, Sebastian Shaw had uh, at the end, and they obviously, like, superimposed Anakin on, um, on Sebastian Shaw, or actually just, like, replaced him, and they put, you know, the same robes. First of all, George's idea of having white robes for Anakin was to s sort of symbolize the fact that he's purified, that he's light, that he's in the light side of the Force now, and this is actually how he became a Force ghost, was... In the novel Darth Vader, The Rise and Fall of Darth Vader, which is Legends, there was a split moment where while Vader was dying and Luke was in front of him in Episode 6, Obi-Wan reached out to him in the Force and was essentially telling him to listen to him quickly, otherwise he'll cease to exist, and informing him on how to become a Force ghost. Made a few videos about it in the past. If you want, you can check them out in more detail. Essentially, that's how it happened. It was like a split second sort of thing. With him wearing the brown robes, I think... And a cool theory here that I, I saw was it's more so indicative of Anakin symbolizing balance. And this is kind of the role that he played in the World Between Worlds with Ahsoka. That he was essentially telling her, hey look, I can play both sides. I can play the light side, I can play the dark side, and it's really up to you to decide what you want. Do you want to live or do you want to die? That was the role he was playing in the World Between Worlds where he was playing kind of as the father of Mortis, the balance of the Force, and I think this is just so akin to Anakin as a whole, where he was prophesized to bring balance to the Force. Now I think him having the brown robes is very indicative of this new role that he's found. You know, he becomes a Force ghost, he's very much light side, and then realizes that, you know what, maybe it's not important for me to always be on the light side, but to rather have balance, and that's what I was born to do and intended to do, and that's what my prophecy is. And maybe once he started to actually fulfill his prophecy, once he died, by learning more, and I wonder what that world is like. I wonder what that journey is like. You know, we could even get a whole show about Force Ghosts and this world that they're in, because I'm sure it is like its own world. I think Anakin wearing those robes, if we're going to come up with a story for it so he can sleep better at night, it's because he's now actualizing his actual prophecy, which is balance. Bring balance to the Force. So, that's what I thought of that. I thought it was a cool comment, and I think it makes a lot of sense, and, uh, you know, it's better than just saying, uh, oh, they forgot, or something like that. But, anyways, Hayden looked awesome. I think they did some great VFX work with him, putting him back in there and making him look like it was just like 2005 from Revenge of the Sith. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. <laughs> do you chop it up to just uh, an error, a uh, blooper, or uh, do you like the theory as well? Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, remember the Force will be with you always.